Hey everyone! Today you want to help those of you who are struggling with low FPS or anyone who just wants to set up their graphics the right way. If that's you, uh, then you've definitely clicked on the right video. Alright, we're in the gameplay settings now. We don't change anything here except one thing, set max Gibbs to 1. Set your screen resolution however you like. But if you want your GPU to work at its full potential, then go with Full HD. Everything else, go ahead and switch it off as well. Now let's go into the experimental settings. Here, make sure your GC buffer is set to full. Turn on occlusion as well. And if you're using a Ryzen 3D processor, make sure to enable the last option too. Alright, let's go to the image effects tab. Here we're turning off a huge problem for a lot of players. If you had TSAA enabled, turn it off. It eats almost 20% of your FPS, and it's not optimized well for NVIDIA cards. All the other effects don't really impact performance, so set them however you like. They barely use any FPS, so just choose whatever feels comfortable for you. Let's move on to the most important part, the graphics settings. And right away, let me say this. Don't use the presets from Fast Punch, they work incorrectly. Alright, render scale should always stay at 1. As for shader level, that one is up to you. It barely affects your FPS. You can set it to 3 or 2, going higher doesn't really make sense. NVIDIA DLSS, set it however you want. Honestly, it won't make a big difference because Rust is a CPU heavy game anyway. NVIDIA DLRFLEX mode, turn it on and set it to unboost. Everything else, switch it off. Pixel lights and particle quality, turn them all the way down to zero. Soft particles off. And clouds also off, because they actually eat a noticeable amount of FPS. Alright, now for the draw distance, set it to 1500. If your PC is really struggling, you can even drop it to 500. There's no point going higher than that. Everything related to water, turn it off. Same with grass. But if you really want the grass for visuals, you can keep it on. It doesn't really affect FPS. Now, the most important part, texture quality. If your GPU has 12 GB of RAM, you can set it to the maximum. If you've got 8, go with half. If you're on 6, choose quarter. And if your card only has 4 GB, set it to the lowest option. As for anisotropic filtering, I recommend turning it off. It doesn't really give you anything noticeable. Parallax mapping turn it off and never turn it back on. It eats a ton of FPS and gives you absolutely nothing in return. As for shadows, I recommend setting them the same way I do. And the graphics quality, set it the same way I have it. You can play around with the tree settings if you want, but honestly they won't really change anything in terms of performance. And that's it for today. I hope this helped you optimize the game and set everything up the right way. But if you're still having the same issues, then it's either Rust being Rust, or your PC just needs an upgrade. Thanks for watching, good luck out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.